there. And I don't blame them. She's absolutely wonderful. All right, let's move on to a completely different issue now. The South African National Civil Organization held a National General Council at Empress Palace this weekend in Gauteng uh, to discuss various issues. We are joined today uh, by Sanko President Richard Ndekane, and he's going to tell us about what happened at the meeting this weekend and, of course, what's expected today. Good to have you. Thank you for coming in this morning. Good morning, Leah, and all the viewers. All right, so what are some of the issues that uh, came up over the last two days? In fact, the General Council is continuing until one this morning, that is today. We have discussed a lot of issues. First, the General Council was mandated by the conference that uh, took place in Umtata on the 17th to the 19th of January this year. That conference took a resolution that we should convene a General Council at the end of this year to discuss the policies of the organization and also to redefine the role of the civic movement. In, in the democratic South Africa. Yeah. In terms of, of the, the large amount of people that are still living with housing within the country, which is one of the major issues, um, where's the RDP system and how more can be done to fix it, discussed? And, and, and were there any outcomes around this? We, we had a lot of discussion around the human settlement issues, the informal settlement. The view that we have taken always has been our decision that we should encourage the government, we should work together with the government to provide at least um, service sites because we think that is the best way that we can do yeah. to address the level of uh, homelessness in our country. Yeah, yeah. So that is something I imagine going forward is going to be a huge issue of discussion. It is a very huge issue of discussion. Yeah. Okay. Because um, homelessness is growing. At the same time, the government, we know that has been building a lot of houses. It's very clear that we need more planning to address some of these issues. All right, let's, let's have a look at... I know that Sanku was very, very vocal about the suspension of NUMSA, saying that its expulsion from Kasatu was a huge setback. What do you think needs to be done to rectify this? Well, we, we, we had a discussion with the leadership of Kosatu, and uh, we encouraged them to try to resolve their internal problem amicably. We think that would be a tragedy for NUMSA to leave, uh, to be expelled from COSATU. Yeah. It's a very important union and therefore should, within, should work within COSATU and resolve their own problem there. Mm. We think that is very important. We shouldn't really take out another person because of differences. Yeah. So you would like to see them reuniting? We would want, in fact, we have made a call to COSATU that we would want to persuade them to reinstate NUMSA back to COSATU. We think that is the best way that we can do. Okay. In terms of service delivery, um, it's quite incredible. We've been asking a couple of our viewers, or all of our viewers this morning, what they feel was the new story of the year. And amazingly, one of the stories that came out was the lack of service delivery, um, or service delivery and that, that, the lack thereof. Now, that's something I imagine that is on major concern to you as well. Well, we are, much, we are, we are very concerned about the basic service uh, uh, issues. We have a long discussion about this matter, but we have taken a view, though, that the government broadly has delivered, um, has provided a lot of service to the majority of South Africa. But there's a lot that still need to be done to address some of the services issue around sanitation and around uh, electricity, around water, uh, also around housing. We think that there's still a lot need to be done. But Good work also has been done to address okay. some of these challenges. Are there any developments that were discussed at the council that will um, that will move our communities forward? Well, we had a discussion around the education that Sanko as an organization must play also a meaningful role in encouraging young people to go to school and also to get better skills because we think that is very important for us if you want to develop our economy. Another issue that was raised is the issue of the public uh, transport. And then there was a discussion around this issue. Our view has been always that we need an affordable and reliable and a very safety public transport system. And then, of course, the ETOL issue was raised. And then we've taken a view that Sanko as an organization we support the user pay principle, that those who are provided with services should pay for those services. And then the ETOL came in because the many people are from Houteng and other provinces. They raised the issue of ETOL. We have taken a view that we are going to engage with a report um, of the panel that was appointed by the Premier of Houteng province. But our understanding is that many people in Houteng are prepared to pay 
for the roads, the improvement mm. of roads. What they are not agreeing with is the method of payment. Yeah. We think that we should listen to people and address the method of payment because they're prepared to pay. Yeah, but yeah. just not the way it's currently working. But not the way it comes to them. Thank you. Thank you very much for Thank talking to us. We know that the conference ends at one o'clock today, so yeah. the best of luck for this morning's proceedings, and let's hope that uh, more of these discussions become action, and that's what's very, very important. We, we are going to implement them. Good. Richard Ndekane, who is the president of the South African National Civil Organization, talking to us here on Morning Live.